finally. I actually get to play without being interrupted by work. Ah! Okay. What's up, people? Trey here. As you know, ah, uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Yes, but that is mainly because I'm in a completely different house. I don't have the same setup, and it's been rather annoying. And I am currently in the process of sorting out a new computer. Anyway, ah, uh, JWE2. I've had this on my wish list since it was first announced that it was going to be made, since it first came up to be added to the wish list on Steam. The day that I saw it come out to be added, I added it. It's been there since. And I, ha I even had it preloaded the day before it was released. So I actually had it preloaded yesterday or the day before. But um, yeah, no, I preloaded it in New Zealand on the 9th, which would have been the 8th where it was released. And like because we are a day ahead of everybody um i had to wait till the 10th to actually get the game now i would have done a recording yesterday but as i said uh, i work so you know that that got in the way of being able to play it but here we are god damn it and then i am going to absolutely fucking adore this i hundred percented um, JWE won on Steam, so I've 100% I've hundred percented all the achievements. It took an exceptionally long time, but here we are. Um, I've been wanting this game to come out for so fucking long, and then I found out that it wasn't going to be coming out until November, and I think at the time... When did I add this to my wish list? I can't even remember when it was announced. I know it was a flaming long time ago. And then I've been watching all these guys, like the likes of Gaming Beaver and all that sort of, like all those guys fucking getting the pre-releases and everything for it to check it out. And I guess they were also testing it too, which is fair enough. I mean, they need testers and people to help them figure out what needs to be fixed and all that stuff. So, fair enough. But still... You know, I actually had to stop myself from watching the Gaming Beaver play it because it was just going to spoil it for me. I had to pay fucking full retail for this bitch. I bought the um, the Deluxe Edition because, well, I, I like Deluxe Editions and I like the extra content. So that's, that's, that's done. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do with the DLCs because there are so many more aquatic aquatic dinosaurs or actually no they're not aquatic dinosaurs are they technically they're not classed as dinosaurs um but there's so many aquatic species that they can add later on and oh, i'm so excited i mean i actually genuinely thought that they were going to do some aquatic dinosaurs for the first one but then you know obviously i found that they were going to be doing the second one and i thought you yeah, know aquatics are getting added to this for sure and what do you know mosasaurus was chucked in as well as the plesiosaur, which the plesiosaur is actually my favourite. Because, um, I mean, it's what the Loch Ness Monster was based on, the plesiosaur, which it's kind of cool. Although, I think the, you know, the general thought of the plesiosaur was it only ever fed on aquatic life. You know, other, other aquatic animals. So, yeah. I'm just... Oh, God, I am so happy for this. So happy! Ah, ha, ha! Zero percent on everything! All right, now, I need to check out the settings. I want to see if they've been optimized for my computer because I don't really have the best, but I'm actually kind of surprised that this is the preset. So this is what it's come up. Is this optimized for my computer? Seriously? I'm just running a 1070 Ti. How does this work? Oh, hold on. Ah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Right, okay. So, um. Uh, very hot. Seriously? I kind of want to just chuck it on. Oh, but then all the. Ah, ha, ha, ha. 
Oh. Um. Seriously, there's no ultra or anything or. That's interesting. Water quality. Something tells me the shadows on the water quality are going to play a fairly decent part on absolutely ruining things. But I will try it on these settings and see how we get on. Audio. Okay. Oh. They've completely redone. They've remixed the original Jurassic Park song, uh, theme song, theme music. <laughs> okay, all right, yep. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Right, um, go back. Game. Campaign! Woo! Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. The scientific breakthrough without any consideration and hey, take it away Jeff so Ghost nature did bastard. what it does and unleashed chaos this time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse and for a moment we remembered how precious life is but time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. I love it how shiny and, and just in your face that made the engine logo. Persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. That poor Stego with the missing tooth. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. It's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with Oh nature. my god, that is so cool! And this means the dinosaurs straight out can't wait for Dominion either. Have to find a way to work out their I mean I know things are tough at the moment, but anyway. there that is no dinosaur to us a desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life but creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago given the geological history that we're dealing with Dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds. Right foot clipping into the ground. The current Left is clipping into. Dinosaurs are running wild. Same thing with the one on the far side. Untenable to those in charge. Well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. Ew. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. I will do my best, Jeff. Right. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is. <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And Yay. this is Owen. He works with Velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. 
I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4... ...and a Capture Team helicopter. I don't know if I want to put it there. I want to put it closer to the path. Fine! We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator. Then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility. And also make sure the building is connected to the path network. It only does us good if it's operational. Why am I building a second one? I've already got one here. Oh, that is very different. Okay. Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm. Yes, I figured the compass was the way to find it. Oh, am I tracking? Oh, I'm going for the berry. Uh, okay. Where am I going? Down, motherfucker! Down, Bessie. This is Owen. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew yeah. you did. Yeah. Never had a doubt. Really? No. Well, maybe one or two. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait. Uh, you don't have to answer that. Bum. Ba -da -da -dum. Bum. 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 Okay. All right. So this is the start. Why do I get the feeling? Okay. So pause time using space to take stock at important moments. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Two. All right. Four. I'm just going to get rid of this stuff for the moment just to tidy it up a little. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge and perhaps opportunity. Hey, floppy dude. Wait, how big is this map? Well, not very big. Transit has commenced. Huh. There's actually a little less space than what I thought there was going to be. But, I mean, I guess, for the moment I take it this is my usable area, and then eventually it expands out. Right. I was about to say, drop the berry! But, you know, don't drop it. That would suck. I don't want the little dude to die. Wait, was it a baryonyx that chased them through that bloody tunnel? And almost bit their faces off when they got up to the top of that, um, the top of the hatch? I think it seemed like a baryonyx. Hello! Ooh, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. 
We it is. We can save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. Don't start attacking shit already! Don't. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. <sighs> so why? Why? Here you go, buddy. Have some fish. Here you go, dude. Good to go on this end. Don't be a D bag. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. We really need that. Plan. I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. Check finished. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? What's What's okay, Claire, how about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? Rock. Why does it need rock? That seems like an interesting need. monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. Assign a ranger team. Okay, so how many ranger teams can I have? I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? You're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threat the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah. But only we know that. Now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter. And then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it.
Eh? Oh, you tubby bastard. Too high? Too low? Or am I not close enough? Is there a limit to how far this thing can shoot? There we go. Hey, stop. Stop stopping and just fall over. Come on. There we go. Right. Yeah, because I... Oh, actually. Perfect! All right. Transportation underway. Asset being transported. Assets in the air. Asset has been transported. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. This is pretty cool. So now, 
Sorry, I just knocked my mic with my headphones. Um. Oh, okay. So now I've also got to pay attention. Far out, there are so many different mechanics to this game. Ah! Anyway. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I'm also going to need power. Do they feed off of just the normal, you know, like the normal shrubbery and grass and grazing and all that sort of thing? Or do I actually have to pre like put her, um, herb feeders in here? Ah, okay. How do I refuel? Okay, so the generators are actually really expensive to keep supplied. That's interesting. They're all snoozing. Okay, so what's the issue? What are we missing? Open space. Oh. Oh. I thought maybe they wanted the trees, but all right. Okay, so the trikes aren't ones for... There we go. Ooh, I thought they'd With want so some many of the animals running free, our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there.
Wait, what? Ah. There we go. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. Okay. Oh well, I guess at the moment I'm... At the moment... The control center... Okay, a few scientists. Recruit! Let's see if eventually I can find James Beavers. <laughs> Alright, so what do we got? Uh, increases unrest limit by four. Ooh, reduces the cost of research tasks. Hmm. Alan took a maths degree before focusing on their love of dinosaurs. Shouldn't that be his love? Anyway. Alright. Uh, uh, see, these guys are... 2 out of 7. Uh, pretty on par. Middle ground. Middle ground. Let's go middle ground. Right. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah. I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Owen, you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what have we got to lose? You know, except the, maybe a new recruit. Okay, so live capture? Two injuries have been reported. So our operatives in the field have received an incident alert about a dinosaur, a dangerous dinosaur, proximity to the public in the outskirts of Las Vegas. Two injuries have been reported and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture and contain the threat. Why? Dinosaur just wants some nom noms. Just give it some foods. <laughs> and then Gollum just comes up behind and go, Let's, let's get my precious. And then, you know, that happens. Do I want to go to it? Honestly, I don't really want to do too much of this at one time. Like, I kind of just want to take it in steps. Um... I mean, a lot of the people that have been doing the recordings and things and lives and all that, but, well, you know, they've been playing for hours. But I don't want to finish it that quickly. I want this one to last. Because I'll be doing, I will be completing all of the Steam achievements once the Steam achievements are actually made visible. Um, at the moment, I don't think Steam, Steam achievements are actually there. If they are, I haven't seen them, but 
before the game was released, there weren't any achievements available. So I don't know. I don't know if that's changed. I should actually have a look. Anyway, um, here's a short vid. I'll probably end up doing another one pretty soon on this. Uh, but for the moment, I'm going to put a pause on this and try to do quite a lengthy series on the on the JWE2 campaign. I uh, don't, yeah, as I said, I don't want to do too much of it in one go. I kind of want to space it out and actually enjoy it. So, yeah, there we are. There is the first video of Jurassic World Evolution 2. I am so happy that they finally got it out. <laughs> ah, that is so good. And I would have my face cam up but I don't really I didn't really want to put it up because I just wanted to be able to see the whole screen and sadly I don't have two monitors I am working on that with um, so yeah anyway that's it I'm done subscribe if you're new like the video if you liked it and I will see you in the next video all right thank you for watching I'll catch you later